The Clean Oil Bypass Filtration System is a simple, cost-effective method of prolonging oil life and preventing engine wear. The Clean Oil Bypass Filtration System can be used in a variety of applications, ranging from trucks and construction equipment to hydraulics and manufacturers. Here we see the Clean Oil System installed on a private car. In this brief video, we shall illustrate the simple installation method as demonstrated by Clean Oil installer Doug Nesbitt. This installation features a 2006 International 9400 truck with a Cat Acer C13 engine owned by Schooner Transport. Schooner Transport is an established Ottawa-based haulage company that specializes in transporting very heavy loads such as bulk petroleum products, asphalt, concrete blocks, and other road building materials. Owner Grant McDonald is a longtime Clean Oil customer who insists upon installing Clean Oil filters on his entire fleet and has done so for the past 17 years. When they're new, they're put on. When installing the Clean Oil filtration system, the first step is to identify where to put the filter. Locate convenient places for both the supply and return to and from the filter, as well as an optimal location for the mounting of the filter housing itself. Next, to begin the installation on this particular engine, we shall remove the fuel filter to provide easy access to the pressure fitting from where we will draw the oil supply. Here, with the fuel filter removed, you can see the supply point. Next, disconnect the oil feed to the air compressor. It is at this point that we shall insert the adapter for the feed line. First, however, we will mount the filter housing. In this instance, Doug will put the mounting brackets on the frame. When you are installing the mounting brackets, it is imperative not to drill on the flange. Mark the holes first, drill, and then bolt the brackets to the frame. Here we can see the bottom of the filter housing. We will put in the fittings for the inlet and outlet ports on the bottom of the housing. With the fittings in place, we can now bolt the filter housing to the mounting brackets. Now we can begin to connect the filter unit to the engine's lubrication system. In order to do this, however, we must first disconnect the feed line to the compressor. Between the feed line and the pressure point, we will need to insert an adapter to link to the filter. In this case, we are using a number 4 JIC-T adapter, although the necessary adapter will of course vary depending on the specific engine model. Before we install the connecting hoses, we must first cover them in loom wrap to prevent the hose from chafing against engine components. CleanAll insists on using high quality stainless steel Teflon cord hose for maximum lifespan. Now, with the hose safely covered in loom wrap, we can connect the pressure point to the inlet on the filter housing. Now it is time to connect the filter's output back into the engine. The return point shall be located on the filler tube, which Doug is now detaching from the engine. He will now drill a hole in the filler tube that will serve as the engine's return point. He then taps the hole to 1 8 NPT and then uses a 1 8 NPT to number 4 JIC male adapter. Before reattaching the filler tube, clean out the tube to ensure there is no swarf left in the tube from the drilling and tapping operations. With the tube cleaned out and the sealing o-ring put back into place, we shall now reattach the filler tube back onto the engine. A 90 degree fitting will be attached to the adapter in order to make it easier to attach to the return hose, which we will now connect to the return point on the filler tube. We will also affix a 90 degree fitting to the return port on the bottom of the filter housing. This will allow the return hose to connect easily to the return port. The return hose will now be attached to the outlet port on the filter housing. The clean oil filtration system is now fully connected to the engine's lubrication system. Next, Doug will use some cable ties to secure the hoses. Makes it look a little neater. Also, with the clean oil filtration system fully connected, we can now replace the fuel filter. Don't forget to ensure that the fuel filter is pumped full of diesel once it is put back into place. Loosen the pump and then prime it. Be sure also to run the engine after the installation to ensure there are no leakages. With the clean oil filtration system fully installed, you can now drive the truck.